Hi everyone, I wanna thank you for stopping by my channel on this afternoon, coming to you live from H-Town. I know it's been a minute and I want you all to know that um, I have just been super busy working on some things um, that's coming your way and I will share uh, very, very soon what I've been working on. But on this Wednesday, Water in the Word, I want to bring you a word that, um, that's been heavy in my spirit this morning, um, or this early afternoon, should I say. And essentially, what this is, and I won't be before you long, is short and sweet. And I don't know, something in my spirit is saying that to cast fear away from yourself. I don't know who this word is for, but someone out there has been struggling with in the area of fear, fear of failing, fear of the unknown, fear of um, not living out your dreams, fear of um, trying to figure out your next move and you feel um, what's coming to my mind right now is like it's like you're stuck in like quicksand and it's like you're trying to get out of it but you don't know how and the Lord let's go to the word and see what God is saying for those of you who have not been drinking water that's what the Wednesday of water in the word is all about is where we come together and we dialogue uh, and see what the Lord is speaking to us as a community, as a body, and also it's a way for us to make sure that we're drinking water. So cheers to health, to wellness, and to prosperity. Okay, so let's see what God is saying about fear. And you may have heard um, the acronym false evidence appearing real, okay? Um, but let's see what God is saying about the word fear. Okay, so it's saying, I'm going to start with um, 1 John and 4. And let's just start right here where it's saying, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this, you know, the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus has come in the flesh is not of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of who? The Antichrist. Okay, so you have to be mindful of um, everybody who comes to you speaking about Lord, Lord is not of God. Which you have heard was coming. And now already in the world, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you, meaning God, is greater than those who are in the world. And then the scripture says, then he who is in the world. They are what? Of the world. Therefore, they speak as the world speaks. And the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. Did you guys get that? He who knows God hears us. And it's very important in, the, in these days, in these times that we're living in, that we be very sensitive to the voice that we are hearing. And the way you are going to circumcise your ears, your hearing, is you got to carve out time to spend with God. I don't care how busy you are, you have to make sure that you are um, placing him as a priority in your life. And I always say, you know, start your day off um in the beginning, start your day off. If you can, start your day off in prayer because we know that when you do that, it's going to set the tone 
for the remaining of your day, okay? And also, let's jump on over here to love, okay? So the Bible speaks about love. Perfect love casts out fear. So when you are operating in the spirit of love, fear cannot exist. Okay, so verse 17, um, 1 John 4 and 17, it says,